Happy Thursday, everybody. So I believe now that dogs just might go to heaven. I probably just triggered like half of my viewers. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Cats can come to heaven, too. On a more real note, a lot of people have very strong opinions about whether animals go to heaven. It's interesting to me why there are such strong opinions on this issue, but we'll ponder that some other time. For now, since this is a sensitive issue, allow me to just list off what I've learned, and we'll take it from there. First, the church doesn't have an official teaching on whether or not dogs go to heaven. Which means that I have plenty of leeway to believe either yay or nay, and I can still be Catholic. Yes! I am not oppressed. But also, of course, it'd be good to remember that a lot of prominent Catholic theologians believe that animals do not go to heaven. For example, Thomas Aquinas, who is much smarter than I will ever be. But that's okay, I still have my opinion, and I'm sharing it. I'll link what Thomas Aquinas says in the description below because it's super fascinating, but what I found is that when people bring up Thomas Aquinas for this conversation on animals going to heaven, they bring up especially two points. The first point is that there are some very real differences between animal souls and human souls. For example, one huge difference is that animal souls are mortal and human souls are immortal. Animals are created primarily for this earth, so when they die, that's just kinda it. But when we die, our souls continue on. We will never stop existing, no matter what. That's not true for animals. So for an animal to continue existing after it dies, God would have to step in. Which of course God can do. God can step in and say, this animal is dying and since it's mortal, its soul will stop existing. But I want to give it an extra special gift and bring it into eternity. God can do that. The question is, why would he? We'll come back to that question. Right now I want to go on to the second point from Thomas Aquinas. The second point from Aquinas on this question that people bring up the most often is all about what the purpose of heaven is. There's this great thing that happens in heaven that's called the beatific vision. And that's a fancy word for saying that we get to look at God and purely enjoy his presence. And what does it mean to enjoy God's presence? I can't tell you because, uh, well, I'm not really much of a theologian, and also, uh, I've never been to heaven. But I can tell you that is kind of a big deal. I like to think of things that I enjoy on earth and then remind myself Enjoying God's presence is going to be even better than that. Like we could take a pizza. What does it mean to enjoy the presence of a pizza? Well, I'm going to scarf it down and mmm, it's going to be so tasty. Or let's say we're playing frisbee and on the other team there's that one guy that, you know, I have this personal rivalry with and we're playing this neck and neck game and it's going back and forth and then at the very last moment, at the very last play, I make this miraculous catch in the touchdown area and our team wins. That's a really good feeling. The beatific vision is even better. Or maybe like, one day I'm talking to my crush and I, I ask her out on a date and, and get this, she says yes. Her face lights up and she says, Peter, I'd love to. That's gonna be a super giddy feeling, <laughs> right? I mean, that'll, that'll make me feel really special and happy. What's amazing is that the beatific vision is even better yet. I am sorry, my future date. It's just that God is kind of a big deal. So bringing this all up back to animals, the point is, this beatific vision, animals can't enjoy that. That's just another one of those differences between animals and us. And in that case, if animals are in heaven, what are they doing there? I mean, they're not doing this beatific vision thing, which is kind of the whole point of heaven. What are they doing there? Once again, we need a reason. Why would God bring an animal into eternity? One instinctive answer that comes to mind, a lot of people talk about how I cannot enjoy heaven unless my pets are there. If my pets aren't there, I don't want to go to heaven because Fido was lovely and I love him. Now that of course is touching on people's personal relationships with their animals. I don't feel prepared to talk about all that, but I'm going to leave a link in the description um, to a great video by Father Mike Schmitz. The thing is, it's important to remember that we're called to love God even more than our own pets, even more than our own family which is, you know, uh, another difficult thing to process, and I was praying about that the other day. Anyway, suffice it to say, for this video, that's not the reason that I based my opinion on. So what is my reason? Well, um, it goes back to the idea that I grew up with pets. Specifically, I grew up with cats, and I remember very fondly what it was like to grow up with cats. I had to learn how to be gentle and nice to cats. I mean, even when I was just a little toddler, they were smaller than I was. I had to learn that sometimes when I wanted to pet a cat, the cat didn't want to be pet. I learned that sometimes having cats means that you have to clean out the kitty litter. And it sometimes means that you have to feed the cats. And it sometimes means that they puked on the carpet and you have to clean it up. And even though those parts of having a cat are not very enjoyable, 
is part of the package. And I personally believe that learning those lessons with cats helped form my heart in relationships with other people and with God. It's important to be sensitive to the boundaries of other people and also important to be sensitive to my own boundaries. It's important to remember that sometimes part of a relationship feels like taking out the kitty litter. It's ugly and it's gross, and for the good of the relationship, you gotta do it. Or with God, sometimes I don't want to pray, but I do want a relationship with Him, and sometimes that means staying true to Him, even when I don't want to. And the thing is, I think that the experience of learning relationship lessons from having pets is an experience that a lot of other people have had. In other words, just simply having pets can help make us better people. I mean, it's lessons that touch on the idea of love. It's lessons that touch on some of the most fundamental parts of who God created us to be. Why is that important? Well, because I personally believe that a part of the beatific vision, a part of enjoying God's presence for all eternity, will be celebrating how God worked in my life while I was still here on Earth. God has done so many wonderful things for me in my life, and some of those things I've noticed, and a lot of those things I really haven't. But once I'm in heaven, and once I'm hanging out with God, I can talk to him about all those things that he did for me that I didn't even recognize in the moment. Or sometimes that I recognized a little bit in the moment, but I can see so much more now. And I can celebrate that with God. God, you just have loved me so much for all of my life. <sighs> this is fantastic. And since having pets is an important part of that story for me, well, I think that'll be a part of what we celebrate. Granted, this isn't a watertight argument, but the sentiment is that sometimes wouldn't it just be nice if God brought an animal to heaven just to honor, just to celebrate the goodness that God worked through that animal? If my cat Misty was up in heaven, wouldn't that just be a reminder to me of how God loved me on, in such simple and tangible ways as I was growing up as a little boy? And from what I can tell, scrounging around in articles and all the rest, I don't think it's impossible for God to do that. So there you go. It's not impossible. I see that as a good reason for it to actually happen, and that's why I believe animals might go to heaven. That being said, I had to cut my research short because I ran out of time, so let me know in the comments if there's more thoughts that I should ponder, or if there's something that I missed, or you know, just disagree with me in the comments if you want, or agree with me, that's nice too. That's all I got. I'll see you next week. God bless and ciao. I want to give a shout out to a wonderful group of youth up in Wisconsin that are the reason that this video exists. They were the freshmen at the parish that I was working at when I was doing my youth ministry internship up there. You know who you are. This video exists because they brought up the question of do pets go to heaven? And I had always believed that no, they definitely don't, and anybody who believes otherwise is just being sentimental. And maybe sometimes that's true, and maybe I'm just sentimental now. But going into the research, my mind was changed on the matter. And that very much surprised me. I might have been wrong before, I might be wrong now, I'm certainly one of those at least. But this has been a very fun concept to research. So thank you to those freshmen, now they're sophomores, up in Wisconsin. And now is the part where I run away. Nah.